So, hey, what's up guys? Today we're outside on this beautiful day. Today we're going to be extending the garden right here. Um, this was our Lufa garden last year. Um, if some of you guys may have seen from our Instagram, like the Lufas did really well out here. And so we decided instead of using this as a Lufa garden, because the Lufa requires so much space, that we're going to use this as kind of the summer garden but we'll probably end up turning into like our main garden and the garden up front we're gonna use that as our herb garden um, but basically what we're doing is we're extending it uh, right now it's about 40 feet long by 33 feet uh, wide and so we're gonna extend it another 33 feet out and yeah this is just going to be a plethora of stuff back here but what we're doing right now is we are wetting the ground so if you live in a very dry arid climate um, before you do any type of digging tilling uh, pole pounding um, anything that you have to go into the earth it's a good idea to wet the ground first um, and so you just drench it normally you do it overnight um, but this side didn't get watered as well, so we're doing it now, but it, it really doesn't take a lot. It, it depends on your soil. We have about, I don't know, six inches to a foot worth of really hard clay that's hard to get through. And then after that, it's pretty much like beach sand um, beneath the soil. I mean, it's the drainage is super, super well. It's really hard to keep nutrients in um, minerals inside the earth but anyway so um, yeah that's pretty much what we're doing right now is just wetting the ground and then we're gonna be extending this garden out and uh, then we'll be tilling it tilling all this in this is all the animal animal manure uh, we'll till it in let it water in and just over this summer um, we'll let all this just compost down and won't do anything on this backside until um, around fall winter time once this um, manure has really composted into the ground so yeah that's pretty much what we're doing out here today Right here we are using hog panels. These are just panels that we got from Tractor Supply and we are using them as fencing for our garden. This garden is going to be right next to the chicken coop and it is actually a very large, very growable part of the property and we are so excited to get this set up. There's a lot that goes into making this garden. So we had everyone helping um, and everyone was just pounding posts and getting um, all of the ground leveled and ready for planting. This is what we got done so far. We were then invited to a neighbor's house to pick mulberries. It is mulberry season, our neighbor kindly kindly allowed us to come and pick some mulberries because she has just so many mulberries growing and they are all ripe and delicious and sweet so here we are we have five kids helping out and we all the kids are up in the tree they're taking all the mulberries and they're just dropping onto this plastic that we laid down so we can pick We had so much fun picking mulberries. The kids love it. Look at all these beautiful, ripe, sweet mulberries. We were eating half of them and picking and storing the rest of them. Look at all of this. And there's so much more. 
delicious. We're gonna make a pie, baby. Yeah. Out here picking up mulberries from the neighbor Cindy and Bob. I'm telling you, the chickens will have a heyday. Yeah, so the mulberry that um, Bob is gonna give us, or that you guys have for us, we're gonna put in the chicken coop. So it's gonna be their main source of shade and then, and the, fruit. yeah, fruit on this time of the year. This mulberry tree is absolutely beautiful. It is so big. The kids, all five kids can climb on it without it buckling at all. And filled with beautiful, sweet, 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 ripe mulberries. We just love this tree so much and we can't wait to have one at our own home. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bigger one just like this one, this color. It's dancing. Yeah. Wow. That's all he does. Here is one bucket out of many buckets of mulberries we picked. Mine's gonna be mulberry Your face looks purple. Let me see. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Please let us know in the comments if you have a mulberry tree and if you love it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our growing channel. We'll see you in the next one. Hey, what's up guys? Um, today we're outside. It's a beautiful day. So we decided to, uh, maybe I shouldn't be clapping. <laughs> um, uh, should I be like, hey, what's up guys? Or? I think we, we need to work on the starting off with soap. Alright. Everything is so, so. <laughs> um, Alright.